So this is a typical debt snowball. This is very average American. In a study published by CNBC, Americans have an average of $9,000 in credit card debt. So that's where I'm pulling those numbers and the $270 a month would be the minimum payment. In 2018, the average college graduate left school with $29,800 in student loans. Um, the average car, new car in America is $38,232 with a minimum mon monthly payment of $531. So these are really average numbers for America. And the grand total of this hypothetical family is $78,332 with a minimum payment every month of $1,257, which really might not sound like a lot of money to you. Even when we, when I showed you my example from 10 years ago, we probably could have covered that um, per month. And that was not making a lot of money every year, probably less than the national average. So we're going to go through this and I'm going to show you how you're going to pay this off and how long it's going to take you. So in this family's situation, their smallest debt is a department store credit card with $550 on the balance. The minimum payment is $38. Let's say that you've sold some stuff or you've picked up a little babysitting gig or something, but you're going to be able to squeeze out an extra $100 a month. Okay. So let's, let's do a hundred dollars a month there. Okay. That's your new minimum is a hundred dollars. Meanwhile, you're still paying the minimum of all the other things, 25, 270, 393, 531, because you want to stay current with everything. So you're going to squeeze that out and do the minimum on all there. So that's going to take you 5.5 months to pay that $550 off. Now, 5.5 5 .5 months later, your cell phone is not still at $750. It's now down to $612, okay? So you were already paying that $100. So you're gonna keep on that pace of $100 plus that 25. So now your new minimum payment is $125. At that rate, you're gonna have that $612 paid off in about five months. So now you're 10 and a half months into your debt snowball. This $9,000 is now down to 6,000. 165 and you're going to add that 125 to your 270 dollars that you were already paying so now your new minimum is 395 dollars at that rate you're going to have that visa bill paid off in about 15 and a half months this is not factoring in interest and all that kind of stuff. I'm just trying to stick to basic numbers. And if that number scares you 15 and a half months, you are also assuming that you're not going to get any raises or be adding anything into it. So let's say you get a tax refund or you get a bonus at work. You're going to be so gazelle intense that you're going to be throwing money at this stuff. So when I show you the grand total of how long it's going to take this hypothetical family, you could probably do it much faster because you're going to be really intent on where your money is going. Okay, so 15 and a half months later, this student loan is now down to $19,582. And you're gonna take that $395 that you were paying and you're gonna add it to this 393. See how this debt snowball is working? And you're gonna have a new minimum on that student loan of $788. And now you're going to start seeing things move a little bit. Now this one is going to be a long haul. This is going to be about 25 months or just over two years. But again, you're going to get a raise. You're going to be throwing extra money wherever you can. The last thing is this car payment. If I was this family, this car would have been sold yesterday. But let's assume they love the car and they wanted to keep it. So at this point, you're now 51 months into your debt snowball. So this car payment is actually now down to 
$11,151. So again, we're gonna move over here. We're gonna take that $788 a month that we were paying on that student loan. We're gonna roll it down into this car payment for a new total on that car, you're gonna be paying $1,319 a month. And that's gonna take you about eight and a half months to get that car paid off. For a grand total of 59.5 months. Or almost five years, about five years. It sounds doable, but there's a long stretch in there of this visa bill and this student loan bill, but this is average America. So if these are the numbers that you're dealing with, just hang tight and you know pick up any kind of side hustles or jobs that you can do. But this $1,257 a month that you were just probably paying and scraping by to pay, if you ever did the math, that's $15,084 a year. You wanna know how you're gonna cash flow your own kid's college? There it is. You wanna know how you cash flow vacations? There it is. You wanna know how you build a retirement that you can be proud of? There it is. Get out of debt. This is the, your plan. You're an adult. You've devised it. Now follow it. I am cheering for you and you can do this.